Hey everyone, my name is Crook Fedora, and today I will be showing you guys five most useful scripts that you can use in your games. And throughout the end of the video, I'll be showing you the most useful scripts that I use in my project. So let's get into the video. So the first code that we're gonna be talking about today is task.wait and tax.spawn. Tax that wait is a function that will stop the script and wait for the exact time until a player first starts the game. And after tax that wait is finished, tax that spawn is a function that will start after we wait for the player to load in. So if you put all these scripts together, it should look like this. So once a player fully loads into your game, the server will wait until the player is fully loaded in. Then once the waiting is finished, then we are ready for the main function, which is exactly the way how we coded it in our main scripts. The next code that is pretty useful in my opinion is table.find. I find this pretty useful, get it, because it helps find certain items on the table. For example, I will quickly make a new table into my script. Alright, so now as you guys can see, we have a very large variable with words that are called tables. And to be honest, I don't know why it's called tables, it doesn't look like a table, so please don't hurt me. And I also have a family, so please don't hurt me, sorry guys. But each variable in a table has their own number starting from 1. So if we go to table.find, then plug in our table and get the number that we want the script to find. And also, this is really important to put this in order. Alright, so once you have the script done, let's go ahead and test to see what happens. Wait, it gives us a nil? Oh wait, I know why. You're supposed to put my table with brackets. Alright, there we go. Alright, so once you're done with the script, now let's go ahead and test to see if this works. And let's see if it works. Alright, so as you can see, the server made it so it prints 1. The reason behind this is because we put the first variable from the table into the code, which we printed it so it prints out the same number back. Which is the exact reason why we got 1. I'm such a nerd. Alright, so the next code is going to be for IV and pairs, and this is the code that I use in every single one of my projects. This is the code which in my opinion is one of the most useful in this video. For IV and pairs can organize pretty much everything such as folders, tables, or even models. And how this code organizes themselves is by labeling everything in numbers which I called it I. Then it labels all the names from the pairs which I called it V. Alright, so as you guys can see I have a model with a lot of blocks in it but the problem is is that they all have the same name. But I want to make a script that they have the same name but they're all counted in order. So in this script, we're going to find the model and the parts or blocks that are inside it. In this script I just made, we made a variable which is equal to the model that we made in the service that is called a workspace. Then we use the code to find all the blocks inside the model. And inside, we'll name all the parts inside the model part. We use two dots to combine the text together. Then we add i at the end. And i is an organized number for each block in the model. So now let's go ahead and see if the blocks are all numbered. Alright, so as you guys can see, all the blocks in the model are perfectly numbered in place. And why are their names not in order? You know what, never mind. The fourth code that I find very interesting is a code called It's A. And what this code does is that it'll check to see if a certain item matches with whatever we put in the script. So right now, we have our model, which is what we used before. So I'm gonna make it so the server prints out the results. So let's go ahead and see what the server prints out. So as you guys can see, the server print false because the model is not equal to a part. But if we go back to the script and quickly switch it to model and do one more final check to our script and as you can see the server said true because a model is equal to a model and it is a model so yeah in my opinion i find this code very useful because any name could be model and could be a different type of object the final code that i want to share today could be very very useful for certain games this code right here isn't mine but this code could actually really help to find the greatest number much faster so what it does is that it gathers up all the numbers, scan each other one by one, then if it finds the greatest number, then it will set the variable to that number. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. This is my first ever tutorial, so don't worry. If you guys got any suggestions, just leave it down in the comment section and also timestamp the one that you're confused about because, you know, I am, I know it's a little bit of confusing, you know what I'm saying? But if you guys did enjoy, drop a like and subscribe and I'll do more scripting tutorials soon. So I'll see you guys next time.